a little ways from where this bear charged Loy and his friends up at Bear Lake there. This was over maybe a couple ridges from there, maybe a mile or two away. Uh, some friends of ours from the church and from the area up there lived close to the Warnicks and, and the Jensen's, Betty and Donna's families. Uh, Vivian Squires and some friends, one of them was named Ken Scott, they were up there hunting elk and this grizzly bear charged him. I don't know what caused it, but the bear charged him and knocked the, the gun out of Vivian Squires hands and he couldn't find his rifle and uh, then it charged Ken Scott and Ken's gun jammed or something and Vivian was helpless so he he made it back to camp as fast as he could to get his other friends and more rifles and, and when they got back to Ken Scott he was badly mauled and barely alive and he was alive enough to tell him how the bear had put his the bear put his head in the bear's mouth trying to bite down, but his, with his head in there, he couldn't really bite down, so he just kind of scalped him, I guess, and just tore him up, and, and then he died, and while they were camped there, the bear charged them, and uh, there was enough guys there with weapons, and they actually killed the bear. And so we thought this could have been possibly been the same bear that charged Loy and Carl and Don. So that was kind of a scary story. That happened the next year, I think, after the incident at Bear Lake. So, interesting story. And then this Vivian Squires ended up speaking at uh, our mother's funeral, so a good family friend. Mm -hmm.